everyone and welcome back to Hide and Seek with Kognuni. I'm your host, Shannon. And for those of you that are just now joining for the first time, you guys are going to help me play a little game while we explore some really cool parts in Seoul. And today, we just so happen to be in one of my favorite neighborhoods in Seoul. This is a place called Insadong. It is a, like northern central Seoul, but it's a really, really nice blend of old and new. And you're going to see that as we're walking around. And one thing that I want to point out that makes Insadong a little bit different is everything is completely written in Korean or Hangul. So for example, the GS25 right over here, which is much like a 7-Eleven or any sort of convenience store, anywhere in Seoul it's typically written as GS, like it would be in English, but here it's written in Hangul. So we're going to be exploring some of those things. If you guys are fluent in Korean, I would love for you to help me out. I'm not fluent yet, but working on it. So without further ado, there is a reason that we're here. We have to go find Kokluni. So I have my first clue right here. And it says, find the cooking cat. Cooking cat? What? <laughs> I don't know any cats that can do any cooking, but that would be awesome. I actually have two cats back home, or uh, one cat now, but she's rather large herself, and I feel like if she could cook, she probably would. Um, but anyways, it's a very noisy, hustling and bustling place, and something else that makes Insadong very special is it's a really popular tourist area, so as we walk by, you guys are going to see a lot more foreigners probably than normal, um, which is really cool. Like It just goes to show that people from all kinds of cultures really, really like to come here and check it out. So we're passing some more traditional stores on this side. You guys will be able to see... Oh, sorry, it's so windy today. <laughs> you guys will be able to see some of the handmade cloths and pieces of art, um, even fans, anything. If you guys are looking to get any traditional gifts or explore some things that would be more traditionally Korean, uh, you guys can definitely come check out Insadong. This is sort of the main street. It's really close to Anguk Station, exit 6, and uh, yeah, you guys can see a lot. But it's also, a, like I said, a blend of old and new. So later um, in the show today, we'll get to do something a little bit more fun, so I'm excited for that. Now, back to finding Kokduni. Our hint was find the cooking cat, and I don't know what that means, but I have a feeling that it's going to be something to do with the word cat because it's kind of specific. Which, since we're in Insadong, in Korean is Goyangi. Goyangi. So we're going to try to find Goyangi and luckily it is one of the words that I know. I'm not fluent in Korean, but it's an easy enough one. So if you guys see anything out here that represents a cat or says Goyangi, please help me out. Um, let's see, what do we have going on? Have I eaten today? Yes, I did. And oddly enough that you mention it, one of my favorite restaurants is actually in Insadong as well. Like I said, this is one of my favorite places, and I know I say that a lot, but it is true. Um, Insadong just has such a positive vibe. Like, everybody here is just here for a good time, and it's a wonderful place to be. Um, <laughs> Vaughn, you are the Shannon. Yes, I am the Shannon. <laughs> you guys are so silly. Uh, can you send me a big hello? Yeah, sure. Okay, you guys are distracting me. I need to find Kogluni. What can we do? So we're looking around. I don't see any cats, but I do see the word. Goyangi. So those of you that are learning Hangul or speak Korean, right there, that is for you. Let's go check it out. See if we can find another hint for Kogluni. <laughs> okay, so right away you can see like all the handmade cats. <laughs> Cats in America. Like I said, a blend of old and new, not necessarily traditional, but super cool nonetheless. Let's go inside. Oh, 안녕하세요. Oh. So it looks like the specialty in this particular spot would be all the woodworking and all kinds of cool like artifacts and stuff. So we've got some jewelry and stuff here, some handmade wooden pieces from Buddha, owls, all kinds of stuff like that. So it's actually really, really lovely. And of course, because it's named Goyangi, which means cat, we've also got a lot of interesting cats here. This one went fishing, I think. Uh, this one's holding a purse, solid. <laughs> These fishing cats are super cute. I actually really want one. I love that. So, all right. Kogluni said the hint would be in here somewhere, so we gotta keep looking around. Mm. Oh, I really like these little ceramic ones. These are awfully pretty. Kogluni. All right, do you guys see anything? Let me know. The handmade owls are so pretty. Yes, they are. <laughs> wow, you guys are so active today. Thank you, guys. Maybe one of these. 
That's a chicken. <laughs> it's actually not a cat. But let's see. Oh, I think we got it. Next clue. Let's see. Find the kiwa surrounded by white color. Kiwa is the material used for the roof of traditional Korean houses. Hanok. So typically we would say this is like a shingle or something, but the word in Korean would be kiwa. And it's surrounded by white. And I feel like that's really interesting because in Sedong, like I said, is more traditional. So finding that white building is probably going to be a challenge. But, <laughs> all right, let's go. If you guys have ever been to Seoul or if you ever plan on coming to Seoul, let me know if you guys are thinking about a particular like Korean item. I know for me, one of the things that I really wanted to try was the, uh, the stamping you if you <laughs> are know anything about Korean culture you might know what I'm talking about but uh, you can go to these like handmade stamp shops and you can customize like your own stamp and stuff and do it in the traditional Korean ink on traditional Korean paper so anything like that is kind of what I would be interested in especially like writing a letter or something I would love to do that let's see where is Kognini I don't know guys he made it really difficult for me last time because um, what he was doing, he was hiding a bunch of fake clues everywhere, so every time I thought I had it, I didn't. Like I said, hustling and bustling, as always. This is still Seoul, but uh, yeah. <laughs> this is another one of those places where you'll be able to find uh, a lot of pop-up art places or museums, shows, that kind of thing. And especially, guys, in the spring, Insidong is the place to be, and I don't mean that like, you know, I say all the time, like, you have to come here, but I do mean it because Insidong is just so lively. And in the spring, we often have a lot of festivals like the cherry blossom festivals and things like that. So there'll be a lot of <laughs> celebration. We're just going to take a break for a second while this car comes through. Be careful. Yeah, I know. One thing about Seoul is the streets do tend to be a little bit narrow in some of these older areas because they weren't built for SUVs, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, so over here, you can see we have one of the Hanok shops or Hanbok. I'm sorry, excuse me. Hanbok is the traditional Korean dress. And um, as we walk around here, you might actually see some people in Hanbok or wearing Hanbok. And I've done it before in Insadong. It's super, super fun. Um, I think it's actually really beautiful and it's a really good way to experience the culture. And you can dress up with your friends and take pictures and all of that so it's super fun that way as well um, as we're going through again you guys can see all of the hangul all the korean writing <laughs> and there's going to be a lot of restaurants and stuff so if smell cam was a thing that would be great but unfortunately we can't smell everything so if you guys have a favorite korean food let me know i'd love to know about it it's cold yes today oh there's the wind ah! oh it's so cold today <laughs> I hate to say that because like a couple days ago, it was like 65 and sunny. It was so nice out. Oh, look at this cafe. This is so pretty. These are my favorite kind of styles of cafes. It's more traditional type where they have this sort of more authentic roofing look to it. It's really, really cool. Nice to see you. Be careful. Today is cold. Yes, I know it's very cold. I have a bad habit of never dressing quite warmly enough. Um, when I first moved to Seoul, one of the things people said was, you have to get the long padding, like you're going to freeze to death. And I didn't heed their warning long enough, so I'm often pretty cold here in the wintertime. Oh, look at these little baby hanboks. These are really cute. Uh, what are you looking for now? Okay, so right now we're looking for a giant white building. <laughs> That was just some dumb luck right there. White building. Kiwa. Kiwa surrounded by white color. Traditional houses. Should we give it a try? Tell me, do you guys think I should try it out? Joanne says, try it in there. Maybe that one. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's awfully cold anyway. We might as well go inside. So this is the cafe called Cotton. Oh, it's so warm. 안녕하세요. Like, something that's really cool about Insidong also is all of the cafes are really unique. Like, I noticed the ceilings in this one. The traditional roofing with the cloth fabric is really, really interesting. Also, I like the art on the back. It's really cool. Let's get some coffee. <laughs> uh, signature, uh, 이거 뭐예요? 어, 시그니처는 이쪽에서 보세요. 
보시면 아. 대표 있는 것들이 조금 많이 팔리는 음료들이에요. 오, 알겠습니다. 혹시 감 감호 하나 주세요. 음, 네. 네. 감호는 아이스만 가능한 데 괜찮아요. 아 따뜻한 주세요. 어 아이스만 가능. 아 오케이 괜찮아요. 네. <웃음> That's another thing. I feel like Korean people always order iced coffee even in the winter time. Um, so we are going to start with your signature drink, which is Kamo. No idea what it is, but I do love coffee, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, but like I said, this little cafe is actually so beautiful. And while we wait, I think we should go take a seat. Maybe you guys can talk to me a little bit about your experiences and what you guys have coming up in the spring. Also give us a chance to look around a little bit so you guys can come on out. And uh, like we were saying earlier about the traditional tiles, this is exactly what I was talking about. So uh, it's actually really, really lovely. Um, it kind of reminds me of like whenever you go to the palaces or you see the traditional like villages, I suppose. Like uh, Hanok Village is a really, really nice place to visit. but. There's such an artistry in it that I really, really appreciate. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a total sucker for like all of the authentic or more um, cultural experiences and all that kind of thing. So, sorry, I'm gonna put my hands in my pocket. I'm freezing. Let's see. Caramel latte, ooh, that does sound good. Again, I have no idea what Camo is, but it sounds good and they had a photo, so it should be good. Will the clue be under the bench? I don't think so. I'm not quite sure. I have a feeling that Kognuni is probably going to give me the next clue whenever I get a coffee. That seems to be his pattern. So while we wait, let's see. You need a hot pack? Oh yeah, are you ready? Watch this. One, and, and, <laughs> hold on. I was supposed to be way smoother than it was. Two, and I have one in my shoes. <laughs> Which are new, by the way. I don't know if you guys heard. But I said it in a couple uh, like shows ago, it was going to be my birthday and I wanted some Nikes. Now I got some Nikes. So really excited. It's definitely fun. Maybe when you get the cup of coffee, that's definitely true. You're going to try to visit someday. I would love that. Definitely come to Insidong. Um, out of all the lives, if there's a place that you guys have found particularly interesting, I would love to know. Um, <laughs> cute shoes. Thank you. All right, I think it's ready. Let's go try. It looks like matcha. I love matcha. Wow. Okay, that looks amazing. And it also looks like a combination of my two favorite flavors, which would be matcha and then espresso anything. So I'm very excited to give this a try. And maybe we can find a seat inside this time because it is a little bit cold outside. So let's go. Oh, comes on me back. So let's just hang out inside. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I got the new clue. That was perfect. Okay, so we got the next one. And this one says, find the tar that signified, signified Yangban, which is the nobleman of Joseon. Okay, this is it's one of those history clues. I feel like every broadcast we tend to have a focus on Korean history at some point. Um, this one is referring to tar which in Korean, if I'm not mistaken, means mask. So we are going to be looking for a mask from the Joseon dynasty. So um, I feel like it's a very obvious clue, but at the same time, this is in Sedong. This is one of the more culturally inspired places. So we might come across a couple different places that have these, um, but you guys will be able to help me figure it out for sure. All right, we have to try this. You see, haha, you need to enjoy the cup of coffee. Yes, amazing. Drink some hot tea, I wish. Okay, so I was given some more specific instructions about how I should try. He said that I need to try the espresso with the cream first and then mix it all together. So without further ado, let's give it a shot. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, 
Oh, wow. What? It tastes exactly like like espresso ice cream if it was espresso whipped cream. Like that's exactly what that tastes like. And then he said to mix. So we're gonna mix it up. Get some of that matcha in there. Oh yeah. I'm so excited. These are like my favorite things ever. And it is my birthday, maybe he knew. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna drip it everywhere. Wow, that is incredible. That's incredible. I've never had something like that before. Oh, I feel like the vibe in here all together is just very mellow. I love it. Look at the colors in that. That is so pretty. It looks like art. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite coffee order? Is it hot or cold? It's actually cold, but... Mm. I don't even think it matters, it's so good. Matcha. Today your makeup looks good, thank you so much. I tried to do a little bit extra for myself as it is my birthday today. Happy birthday, thank you. Cafe Mocha, good choice. Wow, so many of you guys are responding today. Is there anything in Seoul that you guys really want to explore in particular? Like, are you more interested in K-pop culture or traditional Korean culture? What about like, Korean fashion or particular places in Seoul. Um, even outside of Seoul for that matter. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Let's see. Oh, I need, definitely need to try some more of this. Mm. Honestly, I'm not like particularly a fan of like ice lattes and stuff because it feels just like a glass of cold milk. But this one is so thick and so creamy. It really does taste like a dessert. It's so good. Oh, excited for Soul Fashion Week? Yes, Soul Fashion Week is actually this week. And I'm really excited because I'll be able to participate in one of the shows. And I'm really excited about that. Um, and Soul Fashion Week is definitely becoming a bigger event in Seoul as well. So you guys will be able to see all kinds of different styles and inspiration and all of the artists and designers are so uniquely inspired and um, I could talk about it forever honestly but um, I'll, I'll leave it at that. You guys definitely stay tuned and check out some stuff for Fashion Week. You want a little bit of everything in Korea. You want to rent hanbok? You should definitely rent hanbok but my only thing is if you do rent it make sure you do it in like the spring or in the fall. And I know that that's like, <laughs> those are always everyone's favorite seasons. But the reason that I say that is because typically from the rental locations to like the palace or wherever you're gonna be wearing it, it's quite a distance. So if it's really, really hot, you're gonna be sweating. It's a lot of fabric. But if it's the winter time, you're gonna be freezing because it's not thick. So just be careful with that. Um, also, I think it's a good point um, when you're renting hanbok to go with a couple friends it's really fun to take those photos and um, some, some places here in Insadong, at least the one that I've tried, they'll also do your hair for you and they'll give you like accessories like your purses or little hair clips and stuff and it's really fun. Um, and it's for the boys too, by the way. It's not just the dresses, like uh, hanbok is also a style for men as well. Um, I had one friend and he looked like, like a warrior out of like a magazine, like it was so cool. So um, boys, if you're interested in that, definitely give it a try. I'm most interested in fashion and creative aspects in Seoul, like the art museum. Yeah, Vaughn, I, I feel you with that because I feel like every single time I go to a museum in Seoul, I always go with like an expectation that, okay, like I'll walk around and I'll see art, but I'm always way more impressed than that. Like, especially in this particular area or Songsu, like we did a couple uh, lives ago. Um, it was it was so incredible. Even in one of the ones, I believe around the palace here, Gyeongbokgung perhaps, um, they have this giant uh, piece of art and it's actually moving like constantly every 10 minutes. So the art is never the same. It's always changing and evolving. And they have modern art, traditional art, Van Gogh, 3D interactive exhibits. You can go to DDP if you're um, always looking for a new museum because they do rotate their uh, exhibitions quite frequently, but yeah, I absolutely love museum hopping around here. It's really, really fun. 
All right, I'm gonna take one more sip and then we are gonna get going because I've gotta go find Cognini. So, let's see. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Sorry about the swallowing ASMR for those of you that don't like swallowing noises. That is so good. All right, next clue as always. Find the tell that signified Yongban, which is the nobleman of Chosan. So, I did leave my purse. You guys probably shouldn't do that when you're out, but luckily we were blessed with an empty place today, so didn't have to worry too much about it. And without further ado, guys, let's go find this traditional Korean mask. Let's see what we got. Actually, I think the exit is this way. Okay. <laughs> I'm lost. I was never revered for my directional skills. Oh, it's so masisto. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So for those of you that aren't, don't really speak Korean, I just thanked him for how delicious it was because really one of the best drinks that I've had. What was it called again? I think it was Kamo. Kamo? Camo? For my Americans out there. All right, let's see. So it appears that things have slowed down just a little bit, thankfully. It's always hustling and bustling when we get started. <laughs> Not good with directions either, I feel ya. A nobleman must be hiding Kognini. What is the opinion of foreign people there? That's a big question. Um, it's a good question. And I would say, I would say that it's, it's for, they really enjoy foreign people that are here for the purpose of learning and exploring. And it kind of, it goes the same. It's the golden rule, treat people the way that you wanted to be treated. So you have to come here with an open mind. This is a different culture, it's a different country and the society norms will be different. Um, but I would say overall the treatment is, is really good. Like, especially if you show that you're trying to learn the language and you're interested in the culture and you're treating people well, they'll treat you well as well. And um, also I have to add that Korean people are extremely nice. Like, they're very friendly. Um, not in the way that like in America we always like are walking and smiling and if you get in the elevator you ask random people how they're doing. But it's more like if someone feels like you need help or you know, they want to help you learn something or teach you something new, there's no hesitation there. Korean people are very kind, so I would say in general it's pretty good. Um, it is like some places, you know, America, Europe, wherever, you always have some people that aren't as nice as others, but it's just the way of the world. I don't think it's specifically Korean at all. Knowing the language is amazing. Do you recommend Korea and all the places you visited? So. Oddly enough, I actually have not traveled to that many countries, um, but Korea was always a little bit higher on my list because I actually had a friend that came here before me. So her experience was so good that she moved here and convinced me to do so. Um, I highly recommend Korea. I think it's a wonderful like beginning place for like people that have never traveled because everyone's so nice. Also with COVID being lift, like restrictions being lifted and everything, it's really, really great. So I do want to pause right here really quick because uh, you guys just have to see this. This is one of those buildings that I was talking about where you can really find anything, especially like museums and art exhibitions. That's the place to go. I went there once during the springtime and I believe they were having, it was sort of like an artistic flea market. It was really cool. Lots of handmade stuff. Um, back to the <laughs> foreigner question because I felt like I left it a little bit incomplete. Um, Uncomplete? Incomplete. I'm forgetting English. I don't know. English is hard, guys. Um, yeah, I was, I was just going to say, they're, they're very kind. Definitely come visit Korea, guys. Ooh, look at that. Super nice. <laughs> so, oh! Wait a second. Dun, 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 dun. Tal. Talbang. So, mask shop, mask house. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Wow. Come on. Oh, 안녕하세요. Okay, so right over here you can see already there's different types of masks. So oh. it's, it's okay. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, 
So you can see they have different types of masks, but we're looking for a very specific one, which is Yangban. So Yangban is the one from the Joseon dynasty, and it's going to look something like this. Uh, so as we look around, that's what he said the clue was, but it's, it's not a very big store, so I feel like we might have to see. Do you guys think I should try one on? Let's go. Amazing. Yeah, lovely tourists. I told you guys, there's, it's really common. And uh, especially this particular area is really popular for foreigners. Oh, look at all these. These are so cute. <laughs> these are adorable. I love these. Mm, hello. <laughs> okay, focus. <laughs> I have to focus. I get like, I lose my train of thought pretty often. Should I try one on? Wow, wait, hold on, that's, that's 300,000 won. I don't know if I should try that on, it's really expensive. Let's see. Maybe we try this one. You ready? Very carefully, I might add. Like I said, these are all traditional. <laughs> so on the inside also, I noticed that there is Hangul written. So. Ha young, ha young, we. Talban, Talban. Oh, ha wait, hi. Wow. Very cool. Oh, looks like we had a little friend hiding back here. Oh, bye guys. <laughs> we have a little friend hiding back here. Very cool. Our next clue. Dun, 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 dun. Are you guys ready? Ba, ba, ba. The picture holds a location hint. Where do you think this is? <gasps> um, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like the first one is like a mural, so maybe we'll see that one on the street. And this is hilarious. I have no idea what that is. So let's go check it out. Let's see what we can find. Come on. Oh, Rosanita. So uh, like I said, I have been here before. Um, this is a really cool place and it's also very big so you guys will never really run out of things to do if you come to Insadong. It's very lovely so let's try to keep an eye out for this. Do you, if you guys know what it is please leave a comment and let me know. It's always helpful. Korean alphabet. Baechu, just read it. This clue is easier. Oh, Samjige? Samjige? You were right, look. That's the first one, Samjige. Okay, so we have hint number one. What is this though? <laughs> what is this though? <laughs> Help me! <laughs> wow. Uh, here's another beautiful Hanbok place. This one looks a little bit more modern. The skirts are a bit shorter. It is lovely. Okay, so we are coming up on this really cool building called Samjigil, and it's basically a giant like combination of all kinds of different stores and specific crafts and art focused. So when you guys come here, you can actually make a lot of your own things, which I think is really, really cool. Ta -da! Welcome. They're so cute. They have little faces. <laughs> Shannon, you know some words in Spanish. Si. I do, I do speak a little bit of Spanish. Um, <laughs> make don make tojang. I don't know if I can make tojang, but this is quite interesting though. Look, if you watch over here, there's actually some snacks being made right now. Can you see that? He's able to roll out these traditional Korean snacks, which look amazing to me. I'll definitely have to give it a try. And like I said, it is very arts based as well. So we've got caricatures. If you guys are into that sort of carnival vibe, carnival flair, very cool. Right here, you can make your own little greenhouse, it looks like. <laughs> Over here. Um, this is a gift that I've actually wanted to make for somebody. You can make your own music box. And I've never done it, but I did see it on TikTok. So for you crafty people, this is your place. All right. Time's again. This is really cool, but <laughs> I feel like I could spend all day here, but we do have a mission. We have to try to find this little thing in particular. 
So let's walk around and if we don't see anything, we'll just move up because um, if you guys look up, this entire place is kind of laid out like, like a giant stairway that moves up like this. And once you get to the top, there's more cafes and stuff. So it's pretty interesting, honestly. Again, one of those places where you can come and spend a whole lot of time um, and just walk around, check things out, experience new things. What else do they have? <laughs> I feel bad that I'm like making people <laughs> move out of the way. But yeah, it's really cool. Also more art over here. The giant Samzigil sign. All right. I don't see anything though, not quite yet. It looks like there you can make your own shirt. That's really cool. And I feel like Samzigil, like this art district, this little building that we're in, is exactly what I was talking about earlier, the combination of new and old. Um, you guys can see that there's more traditional stuff that you can do, like the making the Korean snacks, but also you can print a graphic tee, which is definitely more modern, but really cool nonetheless. I, like, I enjoy the combination of that kind of thing, and I feel like that's one of the things that makes Seoul so special. So I have no idea, <laughs> I didn't see it. But unfortunately, you can't just pick any song. You can design it. Oh, Vaughn, I think Vaughn's been there before. Every time I walk up, I almost get like speechless with how lovely everything is. Show us the clue one more time. Sure. So we found this hum to give, but we have to try to find whatever the other thing was. I wish I had a pen. I would write my name on these walls like everybody else. Let's see. Oh, this is so lovely. I feel like this would be one of the cool places to come have like a little photo shoot with your friends or do something fun. Keep going up. You might be closed. That sounds good. Kids Cafe? Don't know about that. Let's see. Oh, wait a second. I think I got it. So this is Turi, Turidu, Turidu Art Shop. This clue is hard. That was so small. I could have missed that very easily. Ah, oh, 안녕하세요. All right. Oh, uh, have you seen Kogunni? Let's see. Here, do you think this is? Uh oh. Maybe he's hiding. Hmm. This looks like one of those crafty places where you guys can make something. So should I try to should I try to make one? Let's see. Awesome. Enter that shop, please. Mm, okay. Have you seen the clue? I don't know. Let's see. Mm. It looks like you guys can make a little friend. It says home DIY kit. So maybe that's what he wants us to do. Uh, do you have, have you seen Kognuni? Oh, <gasps> yeah, perfect. We're, <laughs> we're one step closer. Okay. <gasps> make a friend. This is good life advice. This is not just a clue. This is really good life advice. So I believe she's going to help us out and uh, get us set up for making our own little clue, which I'm so excited about because, like I said, this is a very arts and crafts kind of place. So it should be fun. All right, so let's grab a DIY kit and let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh, OK. Ah, okay. Well, my favorite color is yellow. So let's see. Which one should I pick? I like yellow, but you guys can choose right or left. <laughs> All right, let's see what you guys said. I keep forgetting to put my phone up there with you guys. You can create something great. Helpful store owner. Very good. Ah, okay. On the left. Got it. <laughs> Guys, look. I'm braiding cotton candy. This is what Kogluni wanted me, wanted to do for me. Oh, this is hard when your hands are frozen. I feel like this is one of those, like, because the music, I feel like this is like a carnival game or something. My hands are frozen. I'm doing such a bad job. <laughs> oh, cute. This is so funny. 
What do you guys think? You should definitely try that. Make one for Kognini, yellow. Very cool. So it was supposed to be a braid, but it looks more like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not a very good braid. No, you did great, love the colors. It's only hard because my hands are frozen. It's not because it's hard, just particular braiding. Oh, there. Okay. Okay, I think I like this gold yellow, matches her dress. I don't know if you guys can hear the music, but I think it's so hilarious. Lovely, do you have... Shannon, we trust in you. <laughs> you probably shouldn't. Mommy, <laughs> 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 Okay, so she was explaining, because I left a lot of <laughs> extra hair on my little friend. When I put her in the bottle, it's gonna stick out, so I need to try to cut it evenly. So let's see, can I do this? E. Oh, maybe like this. Oh, that's, look at that. Ah! This is fulfilling every hair cutting fantasy I've ever had. Whenever I had a mental breakdown, I wanted to chop all my hair off. <laughs> hey, look at it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't stop. This is so funny. Oh. Wait, no way. Okay, guys, really quick, we're going to name it and then I think we might be done. What is the name? Ah. Uh, what should I call it? I'm just gonna name it Bubbles. Bubbles. And I'm gonna say love, we love love, etc. I feel like her talent would be, I feel like her talent would be something funny. You guys can help me later. Oh, go <laughs> Okay, so I guess that that's what Kogunni wanted us today. Our mission was to not only find Kogunni, but find a friend. And like always, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And it is time to choose the winner. So one of you who was really active in the comments and very helpful throughout the broadcast, I'm going to be writing your name on the whiteboard. And when I select the winner, all you have to do is take a screenshot, follow the prompts in the comment section um, that KoreaNet posts, and you guys can win your $50 Amazon gift card. Thank you so much for watching, and let's see who our winner's gonna be. Uh-oh, now everybody's commenting. You guys are not slick at all. Let's see. Mm, dun, 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 dun. Who's gonna win, who's gonna win? I'm gonna say, oh, this is so hard. You, a lot of you guys were super, super, <laughs> super, super active in the chat. Um, just a second. Ah, this is so hard. All right, the winner today is going to be... Dun, dun. Oh, I got to make sure not to use the permanent marker. <laughs> the winner today is going to be... Bon Voyage. <laughs> all right, I'm going to write your name. And like I said, all you have to do, take a screenshot and make sure you hang on to that. Oh, I just spelled your name wrong. I'm so sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Von Voy Voyage. That's a cool name, by the way. I like it. Take a screenshot. Here's a little heart for you. <laughs> and just like that, you are the winner of the $50 Amazon gift card. This has been Hide and Seek with Coke Nini. I'm your host, Shannon, and we will see you guys next week. Thanks so much. And if you have any suggestions for our next place, just feel free to let us know in the comments. Well, and we'll see you later. Ah! Thank you! <laughs> Bye guys! Bye bye!